Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Ari. We've got another episode in the Law of One series. A very interesting episode, probably the most exciting episode that I've made yet. We'll be answering some crazy questions in this one that I never thought could ever be answered, such as who built the pyramids? Why were the pyramids built? What was their purpose? And Ra answers this in a couple of paragraphs, which I will read now. These quotes from the Law of One, Book One, page 72 through 73. Quote unquote, The larger pyramids were built by our ability using the forces of one. The stones are alive. It has not been so understood by the mind-body-spirit distortions of your culture. The purposes of the pyramids were two. Firstly, to have a properly oriented place of initiation for those who wish to become purified or initiated channels for the law of one. Two, we wish them to carefully, then to carefully guide the initiates in developing a healing of the people whom they sought to aid and of the planet itself. Pyramid after pyramid, charged by the crystal and the initiate, were designed to balance in the incoming energy of the planetary mind, body, spirit. In this effort, we were able to continue work that brothers within the confederation had effected through building of other crystal-bearing structures and thus complete a ring, if you will, of these about the earth as this instrument would have us vibrate it surface. This is just crazy to think about, mind-blowing, mind-bending. I'll definitely just let me know what you believe about this if you think this is a bunch of BS or you actually think there could be some truth to this, but apparently... Ra built the pyramids using the forces of one. Hmm, whatever could that mean? The forces of one. Could we even understand the power of something that could build something like this? Because we have no idea how the pyramids were built. People who think that they were built by slaves, I, I could never agree with that. How, just how big the stones are and how they're all perfectly aligned. No, I, I could not believe that. I think it's arrogance to think that some kind of higher intelligence was not used in building the pyramids. And Ross says that the stones are alive. So the stones that were used to make the actual pyramids, the bigger pyramids, are alive. I think this is a crazy insight. I'm not really sure if I believe this. What does it even mean for the stones to be alive? I guess I do understand at this point that everything is conscious, everything is consciousness, but for the stones to be alive, I'll just have to ponder that one and just keep it going. And they said that the pyramids have two purposes. So, the two purposes. The first purpose was to have a place of initiation for those who wanted to become purified or initiated channels for the law of one. And this really piggybacks what we were talking about on the last episode, the principle of crystal healing. This goes hand in hand with crystal healing, which is extremely interesting. This seems to be kind of some of the lost technology or some of the lost information over the last 10,000 years. With crystal healing, Ross said that the most important element is having a purified or initiated channel to do the healing. Well, we couldn't answer how does one actually become purified or initiated? Maybe it actually has something to do with the pyramids. Maybe it has to do with the quote unquote time space ratios, the way the pyramids were constructed and the certain geographic locations having to do with the streaming cosmic energy coming on each side And I know just as I'm saying this right now, it all sounds so crazy, but it all makes sense in such a weird and beautiful geometric way. Maybe the pyramids were built for this purpose, to help heal. And the second purpose, according to Ra, the second purpose of building these pyramids were to guide the initiates, who they had just initiated and become purified channels, in developing a healing of the people they wanted to help, as well as a healing of the whole planet Earth. It's a crazy thought to have. Maybe these pyramids could have not only healed people, but actually healed the earth. How, how is that possible? Well, one of the quotes they said that I really like in this is that it said, Pyramid after pyramid charged by the crystal and the initiate were designed to balance the incoming energy of the planetary mind slash body slash spirit. So first of all, every single person here is a mind, body, spirit complex. That's what Ra calls us. But the planet earth has a mind, body, and spirit. Think about that. The planet Earth has a mind, body, and spirit. Just like we need to become purified channels through our mind, body, and spirit to be able to use this crystal healing, the planet can become a purified mind, body, spirit complex as well. And so, the three needed aspects really in this whole crystal healing process are the pyramid, a crystal, 
and a purified channel. And these are all completely interconnected because one becomes a purified channel through this pyramid somehow. Maybe we'll find that out in future episodes and future quotes in this text. And then the specific channel. And do we know whether this could actually work? I mean, maybe we could go back 10,000 years and actually think about how these people were becoming initiated. I guess these apparently could be used to help heal people and the earth. That Ra built the pyramids and other crystal bearing structures with the brothers of the confederation. You know, the, shout out the confederation for doing this to make a ring around the earth's surface. Make a ring around the earth's surface. You know, it doesn't seem too crazy to help heal the earth, to help heal the people. And I think that this part, the whole ring around the earth's surface is interesting because the locations of the pyramids are so precise and so specific that it had to have been planned out. It had to have been planned out by somebody who had a bigger perspective of it. And whether you think that just the cultures and civilization had this bigger perspective or not, that's up to you. But according to Ra, in this book, in the Law of One, the raw material, they built the pyramids, and the purpose was to initiate people to the Law of One and teach them to heal others and the planet with crystals. So, <clears throat> wow. This is all just sounds like your favorite science fiction book, or even crazier, but what do you think? Let me know. I want to hear your opinions. I want to hear different perspectives on this. This is absolutely fascinating information. Who do you think built the pyramids? How do you think they built the pyramids? We're going to be talking about that in the next episode, how were actually the blocks moved. What do you think was the purpose of the pyramids? Was this explanation by Ra and my kind of analysis, was this sufficient for you? Or does it leave more questions than it answered? I think for me, honestly, it definitely leaves more questions than it answered, but it also answers things in such a weird way. I want to know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Comment down below. Love to have a discussion about this stuff.